Our next performer, Chris, has performed in numerous regional and national commercials. He's also performed in New York, and he is here to us today throughout his tour in Southern California. So everybody, please, work it up for Chris Mira. And this is guy, and he's kind of facing the other way, and he's really kind of muscular. Uh, he kind of looked like like if uh, Thor and Antonio Banderas had a love child, so he was like dark haired and swarthy. And, like, ah. and what drew my attention was the fact that on his back he had a tattoo, a full tattoo on his back of a naked woman. Very nice, nice. <laughs> I like it. All right, who is that back there? Okay, very interesting. Nice. And, you know, look, I'm a heterosexual male, so I'm looking at it, and he's turned away from me, so he's over here, and I'm just looking at him, and I'm like, that is a weird place to get that kind of tattoo. I can understand if you got it on your forearms, in case your internet went down. <laughs> One person's like, oh. One other person's like, yeah. <laughs> So I'm staring at this guy, I'm in the, you know, I'm in one end of the hot tub and he's the other way he's facing around, I'm like looking at him, I'm like, oh, is that his girlfriend? Is that his wife? I mean, that is commitment to put that big a tattoo on your back of a naked person. And I'm just looking and she was, you know, healthy. Uh, and I'm staring at him and I'm staring at him and I'm like, oh, and I'm thinking, and I'm staring. And I'm like, ooh, maybe he got in prison. On his back, because it wasn't for him. Oh, boomerang joke! Oh, oh! So I'm just sitting there, and I'm staring at him, and I'm staring at him, and I'm thinking. And you know what happened? No. He turned around. And I was on like a little, like a half second delay because I was thinking and never get that way. He's just staring at me like, and he turns around and he totally catches me. And he's like, so. <laughs> it took every ounce of self-discipline not to go, ah! <laughs> So instead I was like, so. the eyes, you know, like, <laughs> and there's me, like, it got awkward, kind of like it was just here, you know, so I, when it gets awkward, I feel like I need to fill the, you know, the void, so I'm like, uh, hey man, I like your ink. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a show on Bravo, is all I'm saying. I saw a show on Bravo. Ink. He's like, thanks man, you think you're getting something? And I'm like, I was not prepared for this question. <laughs> like, uh, yes, yes, I'm thinking of getting something. And then he says, so what are you thinking of getting? 
and I just totally blanked. I, I, I just panicked. I'm like, a uh, rocket ship, a uh, space car, uh, 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 I want a pineapple, uh, I don't know, uh, Martha Stewart. I swear to you, what came out of my mouth was Martha Stewart. Now, Mr. Testosterone Eyes is like, Mother Stewart? Why would you get a picture of Martha Stewart? Good question! Well, you see, I was on a game show. You've never heard of it. It didn't make it a pilot. My wife and I, we had the kids, and she met my kids, and so, you know, she became my godmother. I was just totally free form of lying, right? And he's like, Martha Stewart, okay. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, think Martha Stewart or a dragon? Dragon! Dragon is a perfectly acceptable answer when somebody asks you want to too. They never give you follow-up questions. Why are you going to get a dragon? Because it's cool. Yeah. Martha Stewart. I had to change gyms. <laughs> I'm never gonna remember that line. I'm gonna be working out for whatever the hell this thing is. He's like, hey, did you ever get that tattoo of Martha Stewart? I'm like, Martha Stewart, uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna get a tattoo. No, 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 I decided uh, not to get a tattoo. You know, I wanna keep this button pristine. <laughs> is laughing at my pristine body. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I've, uh, did, anybody, did anybody make any New Year's resolutions? Yes. <laughs> no. No! Oh. I don't want to fail in the third week of January. Yes. Yes. More person. Yes! That was me, the same nice person. Oh, well, there you go. Nice, yes. Yes. Oh, you want to know what well, did uh, no? I just wanted to. Did you? Are you still? Are you still on track for your yeah. New Year's resolution? Good for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't, ask me Don't ask me tomorrow. It was not to drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have a New Year's resolution, by the way. Like actually, it's more of a goal. I'm more of a goal. I don't like New Year's resolutions. I like goals. So I set a goal to myself to see my abs again. <laughs> Like, I know enough about anatomy to know that they're there, right? Because I'm not talking to you like this. So I'm pretty sure that they're there. That was a nice feedback sound. Oh. Uh, uh, my, my abs here, are, I, I've been saving this. They're kind of covered with stored energy. Anybody have some stored energy? I'm saving it for the zombie apocalypse, just so you know. But now they got, like, fast zombies. Like, you can't, you know, you can't be slow anymore, you know. To speed walk away from them. Look at the fast zombies now, right? So you have to be in shape. Look at this. Now, um, are there fish zombies? Yes. Yes, there are. Of our zombie experts in the in the crowd here. Thank you for that. Because I've never heard I've never heard of fish zombies. Because if the zombie apocalypse comes, I'm just gonna go swimming. There's no way that the zombies know how to swim. That's all I'm saying. They're all like, nah, nah. Go to the beach, wave hits them like, nah. It's all the fish eating the zombies. Did you get that? No. That was not clear, but that was fish. Now you might say, but what about the fast zombies, Chris? They all run, like all the fast zombies run like three-year-olds. There's no way they have the coordination to swim. Hello, how are you doing? Just making a personal call. I think I would make a great zombie. Anybody out there booking zombies? Yes. No. yes. This thing here. She's like, go, be a zombie. Achieve your goals. Thank you for being so positive. So the gym is a problematic place for me. I'm, I'm really kind of disturbed a little with the level of nudity in the men's locker room. There is a certain number, about 10% of the guys who I call locker room nudists. This guy, you know what I'm talking about, right? There's guys that go into the gym and they just cannot wait to get their clothes off and walk around naked. Hi, how you doing? Hey, a lot of rain today, huh? Uh. See that Giants game? My God, that thing was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. How's your kids doing? I have a general rule. I don't want to talk about the weather, sports, or your kids until you put on some pants! Put the dangling bits away is all I'm saying. It's like these guys are reliving 
like their ancient Spartan heritage. You know what I'm talking about. And um, ladies, I'm sorry if I, if I gave you the wrong image. It does not look like the movie 300 where all the guys who are naked are the ones that should be naked. <laughs> I just, I want to be very clear on that, that this, it's not like, you know, what is it, um, Chippendales, right? It's not like, look at me. No, it's like your banker, your lawyer, you know, those guys. She's like, did you hear that? She went, ew. Oh my God. You think it's bad for you? Imagine what happens for me. So I actually gave them all, like, Roman names. Now, there's a uh, Horatio soaps too much. <laughs> I, I know this about them because uh, the shower in, in my gym was designed by the same people uh, who designed the shower for Leavenworth Prison. It's a uh, nozzle, 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 nozzle. You walk in and it's just hot dogs and buns is all I'm saying. <laughs> and you're just like, hello. And there's the one guy like, hello, how are you doing? Hey Chris, how's it going? I shower, he come out, he's still cleaning himself. I'm all I'm saying, soap's too much. That's all I'm saying. Soap's too much. Horatio, but she's like, oh. You're a visualizer, aren't you? You're gonna enjoy this next bit. Okay. She's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, and then there's, um, there's Claudio, um, abuse his wife -o. Well, let me just, just say this one. This is the guy that goes, hey, it's date night tonight, Chris. No, he's naked, okay. Like, date night tonight, I'm gonna take the woman out, you know, with a meal, with a wine, and then, you know, go home and punish her. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I need to move somewhere else now. But my absolute favorite, favorite of my, you know, locker room nudists is, is, um, Leonidas blow dries his anus. <laughs> and he didn't start out with that as his name. Just so you're aware, it was a progression to this. And he starts out, and, and I'm there. And he was there today, by the way. I went to the gym today, and he was there. And this guy dries himself like this. He's naked, then. Imagine, imagine me naked. Imagine nakedness. <laughs> Visualize the nakedness. He dries himself like this. Now, when you do this, this part goes like this. So he's like... And I'm just sitting there going... Like, I know I shouldn't be looking. I mean, I know. I know I'm not supposed to be looking. And he's just... And then I realize that I'm looking at him. And I'm like, oh God, and I'm going to look up at him. And he sees me looking at him, but he's perfectly fine with it. He's like, yeah. Like, I like your drying technique. It's like, yeah, isn't it awesome? I'm getting an ab workout. Ah. Very comfortable with his nakedness. Right? So that's how he gets his back. But here's a very clever guy. He puts the towel between his legs. <laughs> Ew. 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 Yes. This is what happens in the locker room. These guys, there's about 10%. If there's a bell curve of nakedness, the 10% on this side, they just love to be naked. But how he got the, and I was, he was literally at the gym today. I was working out and I'm like, oh, there he is. Here it is. You know the hand dryers? You know the hand dryers? Yes. So in my gym, they have two levels. They have the one for the tall people, and then they have the one for the shorter people. Let's see if I can get this here. It's about this level for the short people, right? Now, it's got a nozzle on it just like this, but you can turn the nozzle normally facing down, you know, the dry your hands. He turned it up. Oh. Yes, he did. And, and I, you know, it's like I saw him at the moment of discovery he had, been, he had been at the high nozzle drying his hands, and I think he read the sign, Prevents Chafing, and like a <laughs> bubble came to him, he's like, Chafing? Oh, chafing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I know his wife. 
And I got a really <laughs> scary image in my head after that. Oh, shit. I love the look on your face. This is what happens. There are certain men, they just love to be naked in the locker room with other men. It's an odd behavior. I agree with you. Look at everybody. Everybody's like, can we please move on from the naked people in the locker room? Okay, because I'm going to feel a little skewed out. All right, can, you just... can we be moving on to the next bit, please? Yep, thank you. Uh, so, since I want to lose, see my abs again, uh, I've decided to go on a diet. Now, now look at this. Three people went... Yay. Diet. That is a loaded word. I'm going to tell you something. If you ever decide to go on a diet, never tell anyone! Everybody's got the opinion. You know what you should do? You should go on a cabbage soup diet. Oh, really? How does that work? Uh, you just eat cabbage soup. What else? That's it. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a really sustainable diet for me, but thank you. You know what you should do? You should go gluten free. Gluten free. All the things are genetically modified, you should go gluten free. Are you gluten free? Hell no, I love bread, pasta, and pizza too much. But you should go it. Don't you love people who give you advice that they're not even following? You should go gluten free. I'm going to eat all of your pasta. That's really nice. No, Chris, you're over 50. You gotta become a vegetarian. Oh, a vegetarian. Yeah, you get all the vital nutrients by being a vegetarian. Are you vegetarian? No. Vegetarians? No. 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 Yeah, I mean, either. What, what vegetarian? No. Yeah, I, I go to this guy. So, are you a vegetarian? He says, Well, yes, I'm a vegetarian. He goes, Well, I'm a lacto ovo polo vegetarian. So what exactly is a lacto ovo polo vegetarian? Well, I eat cheese, I eat eggs, and I eat chicken. Occasionally, I have some beef for you know the iron and some, and some fish. All right, if you're eating cheese, eggs, chicken, meat, and fish, you don't get to claim to be a vegetarian. You get to say I like vegetables. That's all you get to claim. You don't get to claim vegetarian status. And people are like, no, don't be a vegetarian. You have to be a raw vegan. Ooh, okay, why do I have to be a raw vegan? Do you know that if you cook food over 180 degrees, it destroys out the enzymes? Oh. You're, Chris, you're eating dead food. Oh, dead food, dead. Yeah, I'm okay with that. In general, I like my food to be dead. Yeah, I don't want live food. Chris, you wanna, you wanna get shredded? You wanna get shredded? You gotta go paleo! Paleo! Okay. Paleolithic man went out and he hunt things and gathered food. That's what you have to do. You have to go paleo. And I'm like, yeah, but then we have to ride the weird shoes with the little toe things in it. Uh, I don't think paleo's for me. The guy's like, you know what you should do? You should go on a face diet. Face diet. I'm like, ooh, I've never heard of that one. What's my face diet? I only eat things with a face. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a particularly hostile way to say you're on a high protein diet. I'm not! I'm real meat diet! I don't eat soy, that's protein! I eat things with a face! Apparently, he's on the face diet! <laughs> Go on the face diet. Now, now this kind of curious, I'm like, okay. So let's say the zombie apocalypse does happen and it's going to be scarce. Would you eat other humans? They have faces. <laughs> now here's the thing that was interesting. He paused. <laughs> he had to think about it. <laughs> no, no, that would be... <laughs> what is the thing in my hand? <laughs> He's like, he paused. Like, oh no, that would be bad to eat other people. <laughs> Glad you thought about that and came to the right decision. <laughs> Off the baby sitting list is all I'm saying. Uh, so my wife uh, has a oh, weird condition. Uh, and this she coming tonight. can't go on the pill. She's got this weird thyroid condition. She can't go on the pill. So I still have to use condoms. No! That's how I feel! 
the fuck about bungee turn over there? <laughs> then you're gonna say, well, why don't you just get skipped? Because I'm afraid of needles. <laughs> so I'm afraid of needles. My wife can't go on the pill. Still have to use condoms. I'm really, I'm really waiting for menopause. So I'm gonna be like, ah, finally! I love them, God. It's finally arrived. I've been talking about it for five years, right now, huh? Oh, thank you. Give a big round of applause for Chris Lee. 